What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we weren't able to have a podcast or live hangout because of things that, you know, uh, working on the weekend, uh, not on a full day Sunday, but we have to get things done as a family and so on and so forth. Um, but I told you I would get videos out last week, maybe around the middle of the week. And of course, it was busy. And we're not going to get into all that. It's not a big deal. But I told you I would get these videos out. So here we go. Let's rock this first one. And then we got many more to come. Let's just jump into this one. This one's interesting. This is, I found this on Facebook. Thought it was really interesting. And in the background, you can see these weird lines. And of course, we want to bring those lines out as best we can and try to make heads or tails of them. But can we ever make heads or tails of these to begin with? Not a whole lot. I mean, you can get an idea, you know, what's natural, what's not. So can you tell, you know, what it is? We can only speculate, right? But with that, let's just jump right into it, have a closer look at this particular photo, and I'll give you the link where you can find it as always. Let's just jump right into it. All right, here's the photo right here, folks. You can see it's semi-zoomed in. I'm looking at this hill in the background, and just the way this thing's cut out right here, you can see it uh, pretty much in the middle of the photo. But what's on the left-hand side, look at the photo carefully. And in the background, okay, especially this left side, there's some actual circles and all kinds of stuff. It looks like they have like this grid that they put over this photo, right? And what I mean by this grid is that it looks like it's blur, the next square is clear, the next one's blur, the next one's clear, so on and so forth. Or if they really want to, you know, make it dense as far as any kind of blurring, they'll really go to town and taking a lot of this stuff out. Of course, the color affects the eyes. You know what I'm saying. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, so here's the photo. I think it was from uh, SETI something or other, right? Is it official? It's not an official SETI page. However, this is what the page is called, right, from Facebook. But this is an authentic photo. I just don't have the link to it. But nonetheless, this is an actual real photo of Mars, right? So let's just jump right into Photoshop because I want to show you this. This is interesting uh, when we start to break this down. All right, here we are. Now we can bring this in. All right, you can see the photo right here. Folks, again, look at the weird lines around here on the left. Folks, like here's a perfect example. There's a circle or something right here. Looks like it does this and goes off to the back. Looks like it comes back down and does this. Then it has another slot in it here, but it doesn't stop there. It keeps going like this here. It's, it's just bizarre, folks, just some of the stuff that's in here. Has what looks like an oval other circles and shapes in here. You can see this one here's got like this weird straight line. We're going to bring this out a whole lot more, folks. Now, I do it two ways. I try it one way, and if it doesn't work out, then I try it a different way, right? So let's just get right into this. I want to show you. Okay, let's get rid of some of the crappy color. Again, notice the lines. And as always, folks, pause it. So you can have a better look at it. Like I said, here. All those lines in here and all of the back. But we also do the whole background as well, okay? Try to decipher it, if you will. Uh, so let's keep going. Okay, notice the lines are starting to get a little bit more clearer, or at least more detail, right? Keep going. You can see the different colors in here. It should not look like this. This is what I always call difference in manipulation and censoring. And the reason why I say this, when you get into this photo, if you look here, you can see how it goes from a green to like a pink, almost like this peach, all these different colors. It should not look like this, right? So again, let's keep going. Tone down the colors a little bit. See if we can keep bringing it out. The background, you, right, you can see these weird little shapes right here. Notice you can see something doing this. Something's going like this here, almost like they're miniature structures or something. And I'm not sure what to make of it, folks. Again, this weird circle is starting to come out. Okay, you can see that slot here in the middle, this coming down like this, this coming down, and there's some kind of weird piece right there, right? Starting to see the lines, starting to see the pieces, starting to come out. There's something really weird here. It almost looks like the bat signal, only it's shaped and it's, it's laying down on the ground. It's doing this here. And you see that much better as we go along, right? So here it is. Keep going. Starting to see a little bit more, like I just pointed out. 
over here to the left. Folks, what are we seeing here? Look at this stuff right in here. Again, pause it anywhere and start to have a look at these objects. Really, really weird, right? Start bringing up the background a little bit. Notice the different colors and what looks like some objects or something in the background. See it? Okay. I'm going to back up just a hair bit. Keep going. Tone down the color again, right? Again. Now I'm going to try it a different way and see if I can't bring this out, especially this object right here. But notice what looks like compression artifacts. You can see them notably right here. And all through this picture, folks, you should not see this. In fact, when I back out, you still shouldn't see that. And you can see it really, really clear. Compression artifacts are when you look close to a photo and you can see how it's been compressed. But this is actually literally being a filter or something or centering thrown over this. Okay. Okay, so now we tried it this way. Now, notice the parts in here now, folks. All on the left-hand side of this little hill. And trust me, I don't believe it's a hill at all here. In fact, if you look at this, what looks like the shape here in this hill, it looks like it kind of flows into the rest of this, okay? Check this out. Look at the parts, some of the weird straight lines, things going like this. Notice how we got this weird... Batman shape kind of symbol thing going on right there only laying on the ground all of this right here like I was pointing out earlier on the left hand side what is that okay let's tone it down a bit there you are keep going take it down a little more try to make it clearer and bring it out bring out the details the best we can folks background and there you are now folks have a look at this. This is crazy. Folks, I always said that these mountains and hills are not mountains at all. Okay? They're being dressed up, censored to look like mountains, rocks, and all this other stuff, right? You don't always see it covering the whole photo. I believe it's structures. Or of course, they're separate, laying about, and they've either been destroyed or it's what's left over, and we just can't make heads or tails out of what it is. And if it's in disarray, if it's supposed to look like that, we don't have a clue. Here's another indication of this centering right here. Just this area right here alone. I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the screen. Right about there. And I'm going to zoom into this. Folks, look at this. This is crap. Look at the way they did this. You can see the blur. It kind of went around this, what looks like this weird rock. Right here. You can actually see it right there. It's squared off. If this was compression artifacts, it'd be all over the photo. It wouldn't just be in one area, right? And yet this is pretty clear, whatever this is supposed to be, and then the rest of this is completely what? The information's been taken out of it. There's something right here on the right-hand side. And yet look at the blur that's covering it right here. Folks, come on. You don't have to be Einstein to figure this out. They're literally censoring these photos and having bad. Now, let's have a look at the original. You'd almost never notice it. But you can still see it. Now I can zoom in. I can still see this right here. Looks like it's doing this, coming around. You can see this pretty clearly, if that makes sense. You can see the blur clearly. But you get what I'm saying. Here it is. You can see where they've actually taken this thing out. And that's in the stock photo, folks. This is not anything done to it. Bring it out. You can see that pretty darn easy. So, folks, what's going on here, right? I'm going to show you the original photo again, right here. Here's the original. And again, folks, it makes it look like it's way, way off in the, in the distance, and it's not. Full enhancement. Just going to back up a little bit. Right there. Folks, have a look at this. Pause it right here, and then I'm going to zoom back into it. This is one way I enhanced it, and you can still see these objects. If you look closely, you can see them. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Bring this to the middle. Okay. Now, this is the other full enhancement to bring out these objects even more. Again, pay attention to this right here, this, this object. You can just see it underneath the blur. This right here. Just the two bigger pieces that I'm pointing out. And we can bring it out pretty darn easy. So, there you go. Back a little bit. Tell me what you guys think. Folks, I've said this a million times. 
these hills and these rocks and whatever else that they want you to believe is natural is not natural at all. It's literally censored objects, mechanical parts, structures, whatever it is they want to cover it. And again, we can't tell what it really is, right? We're just speculating as to what we're seeing. To me, when I see this, it looks like a bunch of mechanical parts. And I think you'd agree with that. What they are, haven't got a clue. Is it in ruins or is it supposed to look like that? Again, we don't know. Pure speculation. But we know the difference between things that are being censored. We can see that pretty well. You can see where they got these digital squares to make it look like compression artifacts when that should be out throughout the whole photo, and it's clearly not. So when we look at it, we go, okay, so that doesn't look natural. We can see that. There's a bunch of these parts or whatever they are laying around on each side of this wannabe hill. And then you have areas that are what? Completely censored out. Spot censored out. That's how you can tell the difference between actual compression artifacts and things that are being censored. And there you are. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Like I said, folks, I got more coming up. My apologies for not doing the podcast and the live hangout. But I will pay you back with some videos coming up. So stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. Much love to you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.